my little painting studio. It's small, messy, but it's cosy. So I'll set it up so you guys can watch because I'm going to work on <clears throat> the painting. Might move the camera a bit. Of glory. Oops, sorry for the shakies. Gaga, where did you go? Come back to me. Come back to me, Gaga. So my idea tonight is, just make sure I get the focus right, um, I want to put some bleeding hearts coming off these little, um, off some of these skeletons, not all of them, just some of them. I think that's going to quite look, quite look good with the contrast of this red bleeding down. It'll sort of help tie into uh, the face that I'm creating in this kiss. So that's going to be interesting. So I'm going to get my little stencil and, and spray it. Now let me see what... Right. You load properly, Gaga. Can't have you stopping and starting. But yeah. I'm really liking how this picture's turning out. It's coming together really nicely now. Mmm, Pringles! Yum! But you know how you have to just let painting sit for a while and just... You know, just wait for your creative genius to go, alright, just go for it. Um, and, oh, it's been sitting for, must be over a month now, I sort of haven't really done anything. To it and um, I sort of I guess I'm in the zone well I'm not in the zone but I guess I'm in the mood to do something to it to make it move forward um, I'm pretty happy with the right side how that's progressing it's, it's looking good I've just got to tie it together and bring this kiss out more in the painting I've been working on this for about three years or maybe even longer. Um, I've always loved it, but I've never got around to resolving it. Um, but I do love this area. I think that is beautiful. I love those colours. I love that imagery. I think it looks... <coughs> excuse me. I think it looks mystical and magical and like some enchanted forest woods that sort of thing, portal going to wherever. But I like these dribbles. I have that other painting next to it as a reference. Because I like the idea of stealing ideas from another painting. I think that's always good, especially when you're doing a series, is to steal fragments from one painting and subtly put them into another painting and that way you sort of you're not going to do too many cohesive flow of your work, but I guess the eyes are something that's in all of these works, and you know that's the link really. It's the eyes. Maybe this one down here. And I guess this use of this use of blue, Prussian blue, primary blue, because um, that's my colours, isn't it? Really? So um, maybe I'll do slightly different hearts for different ones. Right, Maybe I'll sure paint I'm some in. Do some spraying. And other ones I'll spray. And gee, that's very slow to load. Come on, Ash. Hey, Sheba. Hey, Sheba. Say hello to the Ubers. Hey, Sheba. How are you, Sheba? Sheba's going, what's going on? Just the other side. Tonight, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sheba, what are you doing? Ah. 
So I'm going to have one more of this I'm going to use this, this one that's got this heart. So it's probably going to go to up. quite like maybe that one there. But I'm only going to put it on a couple. I'm not going to put it on all of them. And if it's too much, I can always screen print uh, the skeleton back over. Which might be a good idea to sort of hide it as well. That might be a really good idea. from my spray paint I was looking for my black alright I'll be back in a second I'll find my paint I'm pausing you guys so I'm basically coming back with some just some red up so I can tool. see the shape of what I've what I've uh, created um, <clears throat> and then I can it's just just gives me an idea not cut that off there. And the good thing about using pastel chalks is you can always rub them out if you don't like what you've done. It just helps you block out negative. So I'm just sort of feeling areas. Feeling you can it. sort of see how the composition's going. Um, if I scroll it down. Now I mean. Alright, so that just gave me an idea of what I'm looking at. Or just not feeling the body. It's just, you know, don't be scared to turn it around. Sometimes you feel it and sometimes you don't feel just it. Just to see. Always quite what it might what it might look like. I've always struggled with this body of what I'm doing. There's so many different shapes you could create. It doesn't have to See that looks like an eye and that looks like the mouthpiece here and it looks like it's sort of coming off off the canvas. So you know there's so many options to this to doing it this way. Because um, you know a lot of times you could just I don't know I guess there's a lot of styles where you just freehand and just draw any shape right and then make something of it. See it's like khaki. I quite like these lines though, I've always liked them. I think it really adds to the drawing element. I think having a nice drawing element in the work really adds interest. Do you know what I mean? Maybe it doesn't have to be anything. Maybe it just can be something abstract. So y'all do like that. Don't get carried away. <laughs> The edge. I love this program. The edge of glory. Do all these different Any effects. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Oh, it's frozen now. Yeah. I'm Ooh. on the edge. Yeah, so stuff you can do. Different things this way. Let's go back to the color. Hello. The edge. So I sort of drew that hard in there. I quite like frozen. With you. Get rid of that one. Oh, that looks great. I want that one. 
be the clearance. See, that's interesting. That bit's interesting now. So people are going to look at it and go, what the bloody hell is that? But it just works. That composition there works really nicely. Oh. <laughs> Tonight it works really well. <laughs> Tomorrow it mightn't work at all. On the edge. The edge. But I know I need to put some feet in the something, some feet in the bottom here. Oh, that white button. Something, something down the bottom. I think I'm in love with you too. Yeah. How many times have we heard that today? Holy smoke! Oh, that's pretty. Well, oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, thank you. She's going. Shut up. Pretty. Oh yeah, amazing. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. No, thank you. Thank you. I could bring elements of this with this effect over into the painting here. Um, that could be my way out. That could be a way out, Ubers. It could be. Coulda, shoulda, woulda. Alright, so that is where I'm going to leave the painting for, <coughs> for tonight. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. I know I did. Love yous. Later.